Hey guys, this is Brandon at the Edge Pro, and today we're gonna to take a look at the Super ZR2 from Andis. Um, this is a barber clipper, and we are excited to see what uh, what we have here and uh, get a look at what the, the mechanical or the tech review is of this clipper, and also uh, see, see what all comes in this box and how it all looks. Um, here you can see on the front, it gives you a nice picture of the clipper. Um, and it also talks about a lot of the different features. We have, what do we have here? Lithium ion, uh, removable battery, so you can drop the battery and keep going. Um, and uh, detachable blade style, and it shows, high, highlights a little bit of that. Um, when we come around to the back of the box, it's gonna talk more about the blade, the charger, uh, other things that are gonna be here in the box as well. Um, it does a great job. One of the things I like about the box is it does a really great job of highlighting um, a lot of your part numbers for different things as well. Uh, so if you're ever going to go out and order these on your own and that kind of thing, you at least have the part number to be able to move forward with that uh, potentially a little bit easier. Um, I like that. It puts things into nice plain terms for us as well. I'm um, talking about uh, different types of hair we can cut and or how, how the speeds work and uh, what kind of motor we have here. We have a rotary motor style. Um, just a rule of thumb, all of our cordless clippers are gonna be rotary motors um, because of the electromagnetic motor and pivot motor, the way those work, um, it's gonna use, it uses the electric current. And so if it's a battery powered clipper, it's gonna be a rotary motor tool, um, which is gonna be the, our most powerful design. Anywho, that's the start of that, and we'll go ahead and open it. We've got a little tab here, and then we will get that We have just a brown cardboard box here that works very well for holding in our clipper. And in here, it starts off, we have some an advertisement for some Andis gear. They have started coming out with some clothing line uh, promoting their product. Uh, some of it's pretty cool, in my opinion. Um, I'm entitled to that opinion. You don't have to agree with me on it, but some of it I would probably wear. It's pretty cool stuff. Um, and they have it for barbers and groomers and uh, cattle fitters, uh, really for everybody. So worth checking out. They've got some pretty cool stuff here. Uh, we're used to seeing Andis and their instruction manual and warranty paperwork all comes in this nice little envelope there. Uh, that's nothing different for us. Um, so that's awesome. And then we have uh, our oil and blade drive. Um, that's important, especially important when we have uh, cordless clippers. Cordless clippers, you're running on that battery power, so the more you let that clipper, uh, that blade, fill up with junk and uh, not have oil on it, it's gonna start deteriorating the motor and the battery uh, much more quickly. And so if uh, blade care is not something that you're gonna make the decision to, uh, to do, a cordless clipper might not be the best tool for you, uh, just because over time, you're gonna notice that you're losing a lot, a lot of power. Daily, we have people come in and uh, as we're talking through their clipper, a lot of times the complaint is that it has a loss of power and uh, usually I'll just hit it with some cool care and then chase it up with some oil and we get to all watch the speed pick up um, and see all that power. Uh, and it's just kind of embarrassing for all of us. So, so if you guys make sure that you're cleaning and oiling the blades, you're gonna get the most out of these cordless tools. Uh, so that's that's enough of me parenting. I have a video on how to court, uh, how to shoe, uh, clean and oil the blades, or how we do it, um, and how most of the instruction manuals uh, from Andis and Wall and Oster and some of those guys tell us to do it. Um, so keep up on it, keep doing it. Uh, another thing that they have is this blade drive that they put in there. Uh, it should be replaced pretty regularly um, for barbers. If you replace this a couple times a year. You're gonna be ahead of the game. Uh, it's gonna keep vibration down, speed and power up, uh, and you're gonna get the most out of your blade, uh, get the fullest stroke, and be able to cut hair the fastest and the most efficiently. So uh, keep that in mind. If nothing else, you know, put it 
put it in your drawer or your, on your back bar somewhere just so you're being reminded of it um, and uh, you know pick a date on the calendar do it do it two or three times a year and uh, for a barber you're going to be just all right um, when you get into this clipper specifically it has five speeds on it. it's one of the faster running clippers you may bump that up to maybe quarterly four times a year or so uh, replacing that blade drive uh, it'll go a long way um, and uh, we have another video on that as well. Um, I don't have re replacing it on this clipper specifically, but for Andis, it's pretty much the same on, on all of their clippers that take the blade drives. Um, so uh, feel free to scroll through our videos and find it there. Maybe we'll drop a link to it as well um, one of these times. So that's that. Uh, here in the, in the box, we've taken out those little things and everything's pretty well wrapped in plastic here. We've got the clipper, the charging base, and the charging cord. So, get a clipper here, just slide it on out of that. Really awesome clipper, kind of a two-tone uh, situation going on here on the Super ZR. Uh, the Pulse ZR is marketed towards the animal division for groomers and uh, cattle fitters and that kind of thing. And they have it all black. Um, I know a lot of barbers that are using the Pulse ZR clipper. Um, not a bad option. Uh, you get a blade that's not a um, not a barber sized blade, but it cuts. Where does that cut? Somewhere like around a one A, something like that, would be what the blade that comes on that cuts like. Um, not a bad idea if you're wanting something that's all black instead of the two tone. That would be another option that you would have there. Um, I know a lot of barbers that are using that. Um, and this does put this. Uh, sticker on here that basically is saying before you operate this clipper don't start it or go ahead and charge it before you operate it uh, to get the best life out of your clipper um, so I am gonna break the rules a little bit today but we're not gonna be spending a lot of time running it but um, just something to think about when you are gonna buy this clipper is for best use and for best care of the battery um, Go ahead and plan on taking it out of the box and putting it on the charger and not using it right away. Um, you'll get the most life out of that battery. Um, we'll pull out the charging base here. Uh, good heavy duty charging base. It has a little bit of weight to it um, to make sure it's holding the clipper nice. Uh, it's not as heavy as some, but um, that's okay. It has five of these rubber big feet around the bottom of it. Uh, so it really, really sticks where you want to put it. Uh, so we're happy with that. And then we also have the charging cord. Uh, really, really simple charging cord. Just plugs right into the back. Um, nice and easy there. Uh, and all of these parts are replaceable. So as you're charging, if your charging cord were to break over time, something like that, uh, we'd be happy to replace it for you if we have to. Um, that's just an option to know know that that's available. Uh, so let's look at the clipper a little bit more, some of the features that it has. I'm gonna take this sticker off. None of you guys watch this part. I'm not supposed to do this, but I'll make exceptions for my YouTube family. All right. There, that looks nicer. So here's the clipper. Um, really, really cool feature is they have a lighting system here. The lighting system shows two things. One, it'll be green, yellow, or red, depending on how much battery life you have. And then also it's gonna show what speed you're in. So as we go and we go up on the speeds, we should see that light fill up that we're on five speeds. And then it should go down as we go down towards the one speed. So really cool feature there. We love lights. Lights are awesome, uh, especially when they're not at the at sacrificing the power um, and, and quality. We definitely want that. But the lights are really, really fun. The battery, we push on this here and it slides back backwards towards the back. And your battery comes right out and you have your two pieces here. This is a bit of a heavier clipper, uh, in my opinion. So just something to keep in mind if you're already get starting to get some tired hands um, from years of, of doing this industry or being in this industry, um, you may consider 
uh, test, seeing if you can test this clipper out before you decide if it's the one for you um, because it does have a pretty pretty heavy duty motor and heavy duty housing and uh, heavy duty battery and those all lead to extra weight here and there. Um, lighter doesn't always mean less heavy duty um, but a lot of times they're going to be fairly similar to each other so something to keep in mind. Really, really cool feature that I like on this that I wish more of my like drills and tools around the house had is they have a button that you can see how much life your battery has and push the button and kind of the same feature. You have red and green um, and they tell you how much longer you have before you can go um, or before you need to charge. So red obviously is telling us we need to make sure that we've got our next battery up and going or get ready to, to have to stop working with this tool. A uh, couple of the things that I would be a little bit hesitant, hesitant on with this tool is you can't run it plugged in. There's nowhere to plug a cord into it. Uh, so when it's dead, it's dead. You're done working. You put it on the charger to charge um, unless you have a second battery. That's where my other negative comes in with this tool is it only comes with one battery. There's not a second battery in this box. You saw me unbox it. There were no more batteries. Um, occasionally you may find a deal where they have some kind of a deal with a clipper and a battery. Maybe the battery's free or discounted or something along those lines. I would keep an eye out for that when it comes time to buy one uh, because uh, they're not a cheap battery. Uh, nothing about this clipper is cheap. It's very high quality, very expensive clipper. Um, but that would be a, just a negative in the practical world. You, the whole idea of having a removable battery is to be able to drop it and put a new one in and keep going. Um, but it doesn't come with two batteries. So um, to think about it that practically when you go buy it, you may want to also plan in your budget to buy a battery at that time so that you can take advantage of that feature from day one. Um, all in all, really, really great tool. Uh, blade comes off like a standard, your standard detachable blades. Um, and then this cap, when we change that blade drive, this cap, you just squeeze the sides of it and push it up. And then you can get right to that blade drive and make sure that you're replacing that. Um, so really, really simple clipper to get to. Uh, a small thing, but from the technical side, uh, is there are several components that make up the housing of this clipper. Um, we have this cap, we have this gray piece, and then there's a couple black pieces in there. And every time we have a bunch of housing pieces together, um, typically, especially on a faster moving clipper like this one, uh, typically we're going to run into a little bit extra noise, maybe a little bit extra vibration, just because it's, especially uh, over time, those pieces don't always stay fit together quite as tight as they used to. Um, so that would be another thing that, uh, it's really not a big deal. But just something I've noticed as I've seen this clipper is that it does run just a little bit louder due to the nature of having several different houses, housings to give it the look that it has um, and to be able to work with how the, the engineers designed it. Um, but uh, overall, really great clipper. Um, one that I love to promote to people, um, which is why we're here doing this video. Um, I would probably give this clipper, uh, I would say maybe like a four out of five stars. Um, something that, uh, yeah, if I get this in, in a customer's hands, I know they're gonna be happy for the most part. Um, any of the negatives that we talked about are, are real small things, um, but uh, great clipper otherwise. And uh, we live in an interesting time where we've never had so many good cordless clippers on the market. Um, and so we get to actually be picky about some of these things. Whereas uh, it wasn't too long ago that uh, we kind of just had one or two options and that was it and they were so-so um, and now we have some really good options and we can kind of be picky and, and pull apart some of the details so um, that's what I'm here to do for you guys I just want to pull apart the details make sure that you guys know what you're getting into before you make this investment into yourself make this investment into your business and uh, so thank you so much for listening to me if you have any questions or comments uh, let us know what what your experience with these tools are I'd love to hear it. Um, this is, again, my, my perspective is not using this day in and day out. It's from talking to you guys and then also working on these tools and seeing what we've seen. Um, so again, I appreciate your time listening to me. Feel free to subscribe to our page to see more videos like this and we'll look forward to sharing more with you next time.